Hey dudes, are you looking for a video to simplify your proxy workflow in DaVinci Resolve? Then this video is for you. So let's get going. So guys, I'm going to assume that you know how to get your footage into Resolve. So we have over here a Canon RAW file and a Canon H.265 file. It doesn't matter whether this is RED footage, ARRI footage, Panasonic footage, doesn't matter. It is exactly the same workflow. I'm just going to grab a portion of these because they're quite long. I don't want the audio of them just because this is a tutorial. So I'm just going to grab some random bits. I'm going to grab the footage and put it down on the timeline. And as you can see here, now if I select these clips and I go up to my metadata, you can see that they are one is a Canon RAW file, it's 8K. And the next file is a H.265 MP4 10-bit video file, HEVC, which is 4K, 25 frames. If I try and play them back, it says it's playing back at 24 frames per second, but it is absolutely not playing back in real time. So we want to get real-time playback without using our render cache settings inside Resolve, and we want to do a professional workflow. Now what we're going to do is just jump straight over to our Deliver tab. Okay, in our Deliver tab, what we can see here is that it's by default set up to just render out a single clip in whatever video format that you choose. So I'm just going to select a location here in the browse and I've set up a folder already which is called Proxy Media. You can see it's empty. So here's my original files. There they are. There's the MP4 H.265 uh, HEVC file and the and the CRM file and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that so it's going to save that to that location I'm not going to name them what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want them to go out as QuickTime files ProRes and I want them to be a proxy media so now the most important thing to do here is select individual clips go to file and change this to source name this is the most important thing to do here is to make sure that your video files when they render out have exactly the same file name and time code as the original files. So selecting that is going to do that. Let's add that to our render queue and start the render. Okay, our render's done. So let's just jump back into our edit window. We know that we don't want these. So we're just going to jump back into our media pool. We're also going to remove the uh, original media files here. It's going to say that if you remove them, it's going to delete them from the media pool. Fantastic. That is exactly what we want. We're now going to go grab our proxy media. And as you can see, the only difference between our proxy media, so let me drop these down in here. The only difference between the proxy media and the high resolution media is the file extension name. Obviously the resolution, the bit depth, all that stuff is different, but the only difference is the extension name, MOV, MP4, CRM. That's the only difference. So let's jump over to our edit window and you can see here, I'm just going to drag and drop the media into here. Now. You can see it plays back in real time straight away, no problems at all because it's now no longer the original source files, it is just proxy media. And it's in a more edit friendly workspace being 1080. So if you were an editor, now what you would do is you would go through and do your edits. So we'll go through, do our edits and we'll shift everything around so that you can see later how the time code reconnects everything. Let's just put that there so it's all kind of shifted around and out of sequence, and there we go. Great, our edit is now done. So now that we've finished our edit, the smartest thing to do before you do anything else is go up to file, go down to export AAF XML. So what we're going to do is export an EDL with audio or without audio to our proxy media file. So just select that down here, EDL with audio, hit save. And now that we've protected our edit, we now know that if we go back into our media pool, we can now just delete this media here. And again, we're gonna get that same message that says, this will remove all clips from the media pool and make them unavailable. And we're just gonna hit remove. And it will come up with this, media offline. Oh my God, look out, the whole project's ruined. 
but it's not because if we go back here to our edit, all of our edits are still there. The media is just gone. So all we need to do is tell Resolve where the media is that we want to use. So we're going to go back to our original high res media files. We're going to select these two and we're going to drop them in to our media pool. And now when we go back to our timeline, bam, baby, there it is. And our edit is intact. We didn't really need to save out, save out the EDL. And as you can see, we got, we've gone back to super slow edit because we're now back to using our 8K raw files or our MP4 H.264 HEVC 10-bit files. So this is where you would jump over to the grade and you would start mucking around with how you want your footage to look. And once you're done with that, you would do your sound mix. If you haven't already done your sound mix and then you would go to the deliver tab and you would send out your project. And that's it guys. That is the easiest way to do a proxy workflow. So that's it for now, guys. If you liked the tutorial, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, consider subscribing to the channel because I will be making much more content like this in the future. See you in the next one. Bye for now.